Here are five reasons I love Konyas. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Parrot Teacher. I'm David and I'm joined by Pickles, one of my green cheek Konyas. Today we are looking at five reasons I love Konyas. Now I did a video on why I love cockatiels and these guys felt left out because I do love these guys as well and they have so many charming qualities as Pickles is um, demonstrating for us right now. So let's go through some of them today. Now one thing I love about Konyas, especially green cheeks, but all Konya species is the variety and the colorations in their appearance. These guys are such beautiful birds. They come in such a multitude of colors. And yeah, it doesn't, even if you just look at green cheeks and all their variations, they're just so varied in the way they look. Pickles as well. A lot of people, well, I think a lot of people, that's wrong. Some people say she looks a bit boring. I think it's completely untrue. She has these beautiful, subtle pink, pink and peach shades. She has yellow, she has greens, even, the plainest looking Konya has amazing colour variations. I think that's absolutely awesome. Don't you, Pickles P? Some people may totally disagree with me on this, and I have my moments with it too, but I like Konya vocalisations, sometimes not when they're screaming and shouting, but generally I love their growling, their chatting, all the little noises these guys make. They have the cutest variety of vocalisations, and when they try and copy speech or sounds, whistles, it's even cuter because of their own little accents and the way they try to replicate things. It is a really adorable aspect to these guys. Not all of them will talk, and most of them will vocalise in different ways, but almost every Konya will growl or squeal or squeak, and it's just a beautiful thing about them. Now coming at number three is how cuddly Konyas are. Now I'd like to put a big caveat here because not every single Konya will be cuddly, it will depend on the individual or their species, but as a general rule Konyas are a fairly cuddly species of parrot. They will generally like to cuddle each other and sometimes that will transfer onto us. They like to sit and relax like Pickles is doing on my head right now and I love that about them. They don't even have to cuddle me, I just like observing my pairs of Konyas and watching them cuddle and interact with each other. They look so adorable when they're preening and petting each other. It's such a, a charming thing to observe even if you're not actually involved in it. Coming at number two is how playful and mischievous these guys are. They will get involved in absolutely anything. They will destroy your property. They will want to do what you're wanting to do. They just want to interact with you. That's very charming. Some species of parrots, and again, depending on the individual, like to sort of mind their own business, do their own thing, which can be charming in its own way. But sometimes you want a parrot that's gonna be up in your business, so to speak, and that is really nice and interactive. It does mean that you need to put more effort back into them. You can't just have it all your way. But I love that part about them, how playful they are, and it's just lovely interacting with them and playing with them. Now my all-time favorite thing about Konyas kind of follows on from the last one, and that is their personality. They are cheeky, they are cuddly, they are playful, they're mischievous, they're naughty, they get involved in absolutely everything, and they're just really quite affectionate once they get to know you and once they form a trust and bond with you. And I love that about them. The variety of personalities you get and the different traits, it's just charming. It's one of the best things about having parrots, I think, just observing how intelligent and they are and how full of personality they are because they're so intelligent. And I think if you've got a parrot, this, I don't know, you've got to tell me your top fives, honestly, because I have mine, but what would you think? What would be your top five? favorite things about your parrot species if you haven't got a conya or if you do have a conya tell me your top five please feel free to drop them down in the comments but in the meantime loads more conya content on the channel take care from me and pickles and see you later